Hello, children. Today, we're going to learn how to use the extruder. This box, can you see this box? This box contains, except for this thing, I'm not sure why that's there, um, everything that you need to use the extruder properly. So these are called dies, and they are all different kinds of shapes. Um, and then there's also this tool, which is called, what is this? An Allen key, okay? Now, when, you, when your job is to clean, um, here, here, let's just make this deal, okay? Everybody watching the video and all of you, clean up after yourself, okay? So this is the easiest way to clean up after yourself. You have to lift this arm up, pull this out of the way just a little bit so that it kind of will stay up. And then you need to loosen both sides of the extruder. Loosen one side completely all the way and pull that screw and set it aside. And the other side, you just need to loosen a little bit, but it doesn't have to come all the way off, okay? Then this thing will be able to slide out of the way. And then these dies that are on here, there are gonna be two dies, okay? One is the blocking die, which will allow the clay to only go out one of the holes. Some of the dies have four holes, so you can choose which size coil you wanna make. Um, and then you need this to block the other three. Some of the dies only have one hole and then you don't need this, the blocker. But what happens is the clay will get stuck in there. So I'm gonna lift this up and put it on my shoulder and then I'm gonna push the clay through. Um, so this is how much clay sort of does not get used. So however much clay you put in there, this much of it isn't, is not going to be turned into a coil. That's just going to stay in there. Now, if a bunch of you are using it in one class period, you, can, you don't have to take the clay out every time. You can just put fresh clay on top of it. Um, but if, it's been, if you're the first people in the day to use this, the clay that gets left in there ends up being really hard, it's a good idea to get it taken out first. So, uh, that's clean now. I'm going to put my dies back in. They need to go... They should just about fit perfectly with the square tube. Put this back on and then screw this side back in. It needs to be pretty tight and you gotta check both sides or check that both sides are tight. Now my recommendation is that you need to work at least in partners. Uh, you, you can't really do this by yourself. You, you've gotta have a friend. I need a volunteer. Okay, so you're gonna catch the coils. As, I, as they come out. So you can stay right there, you're fine. We're gonna take this bit of clay and put it in there. Um, it needs to be below this, this top level, and then the arm will get put in there, and you're gonna slam this down to compress the clay just a little bit. Then you need to grab the end, so it doesn't work to grab it up here. You've got to grab it down here and push down, and you just start pushing, and then the clay. Okay, so 
what I would recommend doing is letting it come out straight, okay. let it drop, okay? Um, before it hits the ground, just pull it off. Oh, man. So that one's no, that one is no bueno now, okay? Let's try again. You ready? You're gonna catch this one, right? Like, right now, right now? Oh, no. Okay, now pull it off. Okay, now keep it, keep it straight up and down. And you can go to a table and lay it down, and then you're ready to catch the next one, right? Okay, you ready? Okay. Good. Sure. This is not a great idea. Don't put it around your neck like this. But uh, here, let's. How should I like? Set these down. Okay, ready? Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're gonna go all the way, 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 all the way. Oh, all the way. Okay. This is long. All right. So that's how the extruder works. Right, when you're done, the next people can put their clay right on top and you can continue to squeeze out. If you're not, if there, nobody's going after you though, you've got to take that clay out of there, otherwise it gets hard and crusty. Good?